native peoples, indigenous tribes, ancestral groups, whatever you'd like to call them, all had beliefs in the healing properties of certain organs. For instance, they fed kidneys to children for growing nutrition during those key developmental stages of life. They divided up tiny adrenal glands between every member, no matter how small the piece was. Even stories of healing from certain foods. And I've experienced benefits firsthand with these, mostly for testosterone levels, hormone balance, and since the function of most glands in the body is to produce some type of hormone, that is the real focus here. So these are all freeze-dried raw tissue, which to me seems imperative in the preservation of these healing properties. And once the product is cooked, heated, vacuum dried, I'm not really sure it works, that it's as effective. And since most people aren't willing to you know, chow down on raw testicles or eat raw brains, these are an approachable way to get some crucial foods into people's diets. And keep in mind, these are foods not really supplements, these are simply freeze-dried organs. So if you do have access to the fresh organ and do want to eat it raw, that is ideal as well. It just isn't typically accessible, especially things like adrenal glands that are typically thrown out. To my understanding, there's three components here. One is the vitamin and mineral properties of the food, fatty acid as well, that translate directly to the function of that organ in your body because you know, your organs need to use nutrients for their proper metabolism and function. Two is some type of bioactive hormone that can be present in the food like testosterone for testes. And three is the tissue replicating properties of it, like the testicles going to your testicles because the cells are similar. And first we will start on uh, those testes, uh, the male virility supplement. And I made an extensive video on how to naturally boost testosterone. And we've been selling sheep and goat testicles on Frankie's Range Meat for some time now. I demonstrated that I consumed this every day for a few months and my testosterone went through the roof. That's why people thought I was using steroids. So there's certainly some type of bioactive hormone or some compound that directly impacts this male performance. And definitely watch uh, that video for an in-depth explanation. I'm also really curious why none of these shills have jumped on the bandwagon for selling this. And you know, the male performance, male enhancement business is so big, either they're not able to replicate this on a large scale or they don't want people to actually be healthy. And matching that, we have female fertility. And you know, both of these foods, uh, the male virility and female fertility, uh, were covered in another video I did on optimizing hormones. I was able to get my hands on some ovaries, which are very rare and expensive, especially if you think about how tiny that is in each animal. Uh, so this is you know, the female equivalent for balancing estrogen, optimizing fertility with a combination of placenta with those ovaries. You know, in nature, just about every animal consumes their placenta after giving birth to restore some nutrition. This is basically the ultimate boost in regards to that and the ratio of the placenta to the ovaries is what I calculated it to naturally occur in the body and this is leaking all over the place. What's also incredibly important for fertility is your adrenal gland function. Just like the ovaries in females and testes in males, the adrenals produce sex hormones. And when a female drinks coffee, gets adrenal fatigue, that can really impact her fertility. It's why in my, you know, does coffee cause adrenal fatigue video, I specifically state that women are drastically affected by caffeine more so than males. And not only do the adrenals produce sex hormones, they produce mineral corticoids that balance electrolytes, glucocorticoids like cortisol, and definitely check out that video about six months ago if you want to understand that in depth. Uh, interestingly, the adrenals have like the highest vitamin C content out of any organ, which signals they also play an important role in antioxidant functions in our overall metabolism. And one glandular that I know my viewers take is prescribed as Synthroid, which is like a desiccated uh, pig thyroid. And this is just a way higher quality version. And thyroid gland function in general is greatly impacted by iodine intake. 
and you also need to remove negative pollutants from the lifestyle. You know, what's amazing is just by taking that crappy pig's thyroid, all of those standard American dieters are able to heal their thyroid without having to address those lifestyle factors. You know, normally I suggest people you know, drink a high quality water, go completely organic, make sure to supplement iodine, make sure the thyroid's functioning optimally, but it's really amazing how much this stuff has worked to the point where you know pharmaceutical companies are literally prescribing it as a medication. Tying into that hormone function and beyond, we have Third Eye, which is a blend of the brain glandulars, hypothalamus, pituitary, and pineal. And I honestly didn't think I'd be able to get these freeze dry. Hypothalamus being the largest of these glands, releasing many different hormones from dopamine, oxytocin, even growth hormone. The pituitary is substantially smaller, releasing similar hormones, as well as regulating the thyroid, as well as stress. The pineal gland, even smaller than that, releasing melatonin. In Descartes' philosophy, he regarded the pineal gland as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which our thoughts are formed. You know, our modern lifestyles and many things in our food supply are thought to calcify the pineal gland. So when we remove those negatives from our lifestyle, you know, we're able to achieve higher brain function. And I think people are really going to notice a difference from this. And I'm really excited to, to get some feedback on this and, and see how people respond to taking this. Another very unique one I've developed is immune strength, combining the thymus gland with the lymph nodes, which are the body's natural immune system. You know, with you know what going around, I figured people would buy this up but no one really even talks about the thymus gland or the lymph nodes. And the thymus secretes hormones that are necessary for T cells, which completely regulate our immune system, tell our bodies what to attack, what to reject, you know, from curing allergies to fighting off diseases. The lymph nodes that are located throughout the body at different points contain these T cells as well as filtering contaminants out of the body. You know, I guess, the mainstream media doesn't want you knowing what your natural immune system is actually composed of. Therefore, uh, they don't want you strengthening it. So this again, just like the uh, female fertility, just like the third eye, it has the organs in the proper ratio weight in the body. So the remaining six organs are focused on overall metabolism and function. You know, although the liver does produce hormones like IGF and the kidney produces hormones to produce blood cells, you know, the brain in general, of course, produces many, many hormones. These organs are a lot larger and they need to store more nutrients for those functions. Therefore, the nutrient stores are reflected in the animal's organs that we consume. You know, when you have these tinier glandulars, when they're small in the body, not a lot of research has been available to the public on them for various reasons. You know, these are truly some of the secrets to the health of some of the most successful people in the world. And all of these are contained in my full spectrum organ supplement in the ratio they naturally occur in the body. Uh, you know, but I would definitely try each of these out one by one and see how you feel. I was actually thinking of putting uh, the smaller glandulars in here as well, but it would be so little and I'd have to charge so much more for this. I didn't think it made sense. Uh, big brain, I, I had fun with this name, big brain, you know, I'm, I'm stupid. And we do sell lamb brain and calf brain on Frankie's Free Range Meat, uh, this being calf brain. And this is how I prefer to get my EPA and DHA on a weekly to bi-monthly basis. And I, you know, some caviar and vodka with some Russian girls if, uh, I mean, I'm, I can't really afford that, but it's one of my fantasies. Uh, so since fish is so polluted, uh, the animal brains are the only reliable source of highly bioavailable omega-3s and the brain is the largest organ in our body, along with the liver, they're about the same size. Uh, so consuming the nutrient profile of brain frequently makes the most sense for optimizing function, optimizing memory. Of course, most people are familiar with liver. It's the most nutritious organ on the animal, and just about everyone has been consuming liver that watches my channel, to my knowledge. So I don't think it's necessary to take it as a supplement. I wasn't gonna even get this powder. But some people do want it. You know, the amount of B vitamins, minerals, especially copper, is amazing. Unfortunately, the high amount of vitamin A in liver makes it difficult to keep other fat-soluble vitamins in balance. You guys can see I'm a little tan. You know, I try to 
you know, get as much sun as possible or go to tanning beds, you know, which is why I do recommend you try these other glandulars separately. You know, the reason the liver is so high in nutrients is because it stores them for use in other parts of the body and it has a vast function from filtering the body of toxins to all antioxidant systems. A happy liver means a happy life. And unfortunately, uh, with the liver, you know, unlike these other supplements, like, yeah, you definitely want to take adrenals to help your adrenals. You definitely want to take thyroid to help your thyroid. You definitely want to take uh, the male and female performance stuff. Those are all incredibly helpful for that function. But liver, a lot harder to balance, you know, because your nutrient stores throughout a lot of your life are stored in your liver. So it's not as easy of a fix as the other ones. Uh, the kidneys uh, filter the blood primarily and are the second most nutritious organ on the animal. So the same principle as liver, you know, the organ uses up a lot of resources because it has a very important function. You know, so by consuming the organ, we are able to make sure our body has those specific vitamins and minerals needed to perform. Kidney is also unique for people with histamine intolerance as it has the Dow enzyme to break down histamine, but it's more of a copper deficiency issue and I think taking kidney for Dow enzyme is kind of like throwing a blanket or a band-aid over the issue. Another product I wasn't going to carry was heart uh, because it's more of a muscle meat from a nutrient perspective, but the COQ10, the coenzyme Q10, which is crucial for energy metabolism, is so high. And I thought it'd be really interesting to use this as a pre-workout supplement. You know, imagine, you know, some nature's glucose. Do I have some here? Some nature's glucose with some beef heart. You know, throw some raw cacao in there and you probably run through a wall. Guys, let me know if you want like a natural pre-workout supplement. I have some really good ideas. I also had, you know, another pure glucose supplement idea, but you know, it's genius ideas, but I don't have the, the shill sellout marketing team. So I don't really want to give them all away. And last but not least, we have digestive enzymes. I was going to call this insulin resistance or insulin repair as well. I'm not sure which name. Uh, the pancreas might be the most overlooked organ. You know, I think pancreatic cancer is one of the most common cancers now with a very low survival rate. And whether your body needs assistance in producing insulin, various digestive enzymes, or healing from past high sugar and toxin lifestyles, this is arguably the most damaged organ in the average standard American dieter. And I, I mean, everything's probably a mess. But it makes sense from the perspective of so many diabetics th that need to inject insulin that, you know, the average person taking a pancreas supplement should help a lot. I think these truly work and I really want uh, feedback from you guys to, to let me know uh, where we can take this in a different direction. So uh, you can check out organsupplements.com uh, for all of this stuff. And we have some vitamins and minerals available as well that you can pair with this. Uh, let me know what educational video you guys want me to do tomorrow. I think we covered the mineral wheel last week, a second look back, which was important. Uh, I could do like an overview of all the glandulars in the body and what their function is. I feel like I kind of did that today. Uh, and I, I don't, That's not really necessary. Maybe I will. I'll, I'll see if I think of something else. But thanks again for joining me, guys. Uh, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Thank you.